Hello everyone! So today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a huge Christmas Lush haul for 2019. Um, I was meant to do this literally weeks ago, um, but I just kept putting off ordering because I've been spending a hell of a lot of money <laughs> over Christmas, but I've nearly finished my Christmas shopping, which I'm so thankful for. I like to get it out the way early because it stresses me out so much so because I was spending so much money on everyone else's gifts I thought <clears throat> I'm gonna hold off a little bit before I do this Lush order but I did want to do it a lot sooner than this um because it has been out for a little while so <clears throat> hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me sorry I can already hear Vlad snoring I feel like I always forget to mention because people always comment in the backgrounds of my videos what's that noise and it's my pugs snoring so you'll probably hear that in the background but <coughs> excuse me today I am super excited to do this Lush haul um, I got so much stuff I was really impressed by the range this year they had so many new and different products to try so I got mainly new stuff this year like I didn't get a bunch of snow fairy stuff this year because I feel like I've tried it so much that I wanted to try the new stuff but I feel like the range this year was so massive I definitely didn't get nearly everything but I got a whole bunch of stuff so I'm super excited to show you guys um, I'm gonna stop blabbing now and we're gonna get on to the video so my usual sorts of Lush hauls I've got my laptop here with everything I ordered brief description because I stuck stuck I suck at describing things I will link everything down below as normal and I will probably do close-ups as well so you can see the pretty bath bombs up close also to mention look what I did I bought my Christmas tree up, my little Christmas tree, not our main one, um, because like my stuff's like not in the attic, so I, I thought, because I'm doing a Christmas Lush haul, it made me feel a little festive, so I wanted to put it up and I thought it'd be cute in the background, and then I was like, hang on a minute, wait, where my head is, you literally can't even see it, so just wanted to point it out. There's a little bit of appreciation that I am in the Christmas spirit. We've got one more week of November when I'm filming this, and I'm really excited for Christmas this year. I don't know why, uh, but I'm super keen, and I'm really excited to show you guys the Lush stuff. Um, I feel like most of you probably have this already, because as I said, it's been out for a while. Um, but yeah, I've been delayed getting it, unfortunately. So... I'm gonna just grab stuff. I mean, this box is freaking huge, guys. Like, I don't even know if I can lift this. Like, got them all sat on top. But look how big this box is. Oh my god, I don't want to drop any of them. And I had to, like, dig through to make sure I wasn't leaving anything. Um, I also got some stuff for my boyfriend for Christmas, but I'm not gonna show that because I don't want him to watch this and ruin the surprise. Um, but yeah, big box. I hate these little motherfuckers they're so annoying I was like paranoid that I'd left stuff in the bottom so it literally took me ages sorting through this package okay so this is probably gonna be a long video because I got a lot to go through hopefully you guys don't hate me for that but yeah so first bath bomb here is called Phoenix Rising and um, I don't really know why this is in the Christmas range I think it's in the Christmas range um, but it just looks like little purple little is this a sphere? Is that what you'd call that? My camera sucks at focusing when my face is in the shot. So, oh, I think we've got it to focus. It's there. Sorry, it takes ages to get this camera to focus on something that's not my face. Um, but it looks like this. It's got a bit of gold on top. Kind of a basic sort of bath bomb <coughs> shape. But this smells divine. It's probably my favorite smell um, out of everything. It's got a super, I don't know if it's got plum or something fruity in this. But it smells really girly. You could also smell some sort of spice in here, like maybe cinnamon. Um, this one is £4.95. <clears throat> and um, it, this has uh, cassia oil, fair trade organic cocoa butter, um, cinnamon sticks, and bergamot oil. So that's probably where I'm getting the citrusy, fruity smell from. But to me, it smells very berryish, a little bit minty. You kind of can smell the cinnamon as well, but this smells so nice if you're really into girly, fruity smelling scents, really fresh smells, this would be perfect for you. I feel like obviously a lot of the Christmas smells are very cinnamony, very spicy, um, and I feel like this 
this is really different it's really unique and it smells so so nice so this one is phoenix rising definitely recommend this just from the smell it smells amazing also sorry if my voice is a little bit croaky i was so ill last week i literally lost my voice for two days two straight days i had no voice and i powered through and worked through all that as well so i was feeling a little run down last week and on the weekend i'm finally starting to feel better but i've still got a little bit of a cough and a croaky voice so I'm sorry if I keep having to clear my throat. I have been sick. It's going around. It's just that time of year. So next one is Frozen. I can't remember if like this is just like one that was like brought out normal or was this in the Christmas range last year? Somebody let me know because I feel like I've had this one not long ago, but I don't know if it was from the Christmas range last year or or not. Like I can't really tell, but um, I definitely have used this before and I definitely remember liking it. So this one is Frozen. It is $6.95 so a bit more pricey for a bath bomb. And um, this one smells super fresh, really clean sort of smelling. So this one has neroli oil, grapefruit oil and rose oil. So to me it smells, yeah, a little bit floral. You can definitely smell the citrus in there. So if you like sort of minty, citrusy kind of smells, you guys will love this. It's just all blue, different shades of blue on the inside. It's kind of just one of your basics, but it smells divine and it looks really pretty in the bath as well. Um, but yeah, let me know. I'm sure I've used this recently, um, but it definitely was in the Christmas range on the page. So um, maybe they've just brought it into the Christmas range. I'm not sure, but I've definitely used this before. Would highly recommend. It smells lovely. Now this one, to me, is a little bit of an ugly bath bomb. Um, this is the Abominable, I hope I said that right, um, bath bomb. So kind of like the Abominable, Abominable snowman is it but he kind of looks like a yeti sort of thing um this one is 5.95 to me it's really ugly like i've got a big chunk missing out of mine as well um yeah not the most appealing looking but it looks like it's full of fun colors like greens oranges and obviously blue on the inside and this one this one's an interesting smell it smells very like vanilla-y very sweet and you can definitely smell some sort of mint so the ingredients in this are, oh there we go, peppermint oil, vanilla absolute, and Brazilian orange, I can't speak, orange oil. And yeah, you can definitely smell the mint and vanilla in this, it's very very sweet smelling and you can definitely smell the mint. So if you like more mintier smelling lush smells, you will definitely like this. Um, I like it, it smells really fresh, definitely kind of suits this whole sort of Christmassy kind of smells. It's kind of ugly, but I do kind of like it and hopefully it'll be really pretty in the bath. So this one is abominable, hopefully I said that right. <laughs> Okay, so next one is obviously a classic. This is the Snow Fairy Bath Bomb. What I love about like Snow Fairy is obviously it's a classic Christmas smell for Lush, but every single year they make kind of new sort of products with Snow Fairy. And I think it was last year they started the Bath Bomb, um, but every year they make it look different and it's never the same. So I really love how it looks this year. So um, this one is $4.95. It obviously has that classic, really sugary, sweet, candy, snow fairy smell that most people love. I know it's not for everyone, but I definitely love the smell of snow fairy. But this year, it's super pretty. It's got this big snow, sparkly snowflake in the middle, and it's pink. And then you flip it the other side, and it's white with a blue sparkly snowflake. You guys will probably see it better in the close-ups. I've got blue on my finger. I'm going to make such a mess. Oh my god, I don't know if this is from Abominable or what, but look at my hand. Ugh, I'm gonna make such a mess. Um, I might need to get like a makeup wipe or something for my hands, but obviously, classic Snow Fairy smell, super sugary. Um, it doesn't actually list like the ingredients here, but everyone I feel like knows the Snow Fairy, Snow Fairy, Snow Fairy smell. And um, yeah, I actually love how it looks this year. I'm actually ruining it because my hands are blue. But um, really pretty, love Snow Fairy, it's a classic for me and a must have for Christmas. Okay, so I've just grabbed a wipe for my hands and whatever, I'm guessing it's abominable, it's stained my fingers. Like I've literally been like scrubbing my hands and it won't come off. So just to pre-warn you if you get abominable, don't let it touch anything because it stains. There must be some sort of 
dye or pigment in it. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't stain people's skin when they're in the bath because that would be awful. Okay, the next one, this one's really pretty. This one is Santa's Grotto. This one I believe is a new one. And this one smells so good. And this one's really pretty. It's got kind of like, it almost looks like crystals on the top. Kind of like, I don't know if it's popping candy. It's probably not gonna focus. We kind of have some focusing going on now. Really pretty sort of mint green with gold running through it. This one is so pretty and it smells so, so divine. Um, this one is $5.95. And this one says it has ylang ylang oil. Pop and popping candy. Oh, they're the main um, smells to it. But it definitely smells very floral, very sweet, very feminine, I guess I would say. Um, let's see what else it says. Um, not really many ingredients. Coarse sea salt, citric acid, popping candy. Um, yeah, so from the seams of this is very floral smell smelling. Um, which I can definitely smell the floor. It also, to me, smells a bit citrusy. Um, but this one smells really feminine, really, really nice and fresh. Um, definitely love the smell of this. So if you're into really feminine sorts of fresh, lush smells, you will definitely really enjoy this one. So this one is Santa's Grotto. So the next one is Pop Art. And this one has that kind of classic, they do a bunch of ones in this sort of shape. I don't know if it's meant to be like a cloud or a berry sort of thing. Um, and this one, it looks really yellow, really fun. I love the color yellow. Um, but this one has a very interesting smell. I'm not a huge fan. It's definitely got a very eggnoggy, yeah, just to me it smells like eggnog, cinnamon, those very warm smelling Christmassy scents. It definitely smells very Christmassy. Um, it's not my favorite, but for the time of year, I do, like, I don't mind it, but it's not my favorite. Um, so I can't remember if I said this, this is 4 95 and this one has popping candy through it, coarse sea salt, and corn flour. It doesn't really say, I don't know, but yeah, it's, to me it smells like eggnog, like cinnamon, those sorts of smells. So if you like those very Christmassy, warm sorts of lush smells, then you will definitely like this. But it looks really pretty. I like the yellow. To me, like pop art and yellow doesn't really scream Christmas, I'm not gonna lie. But I do kind of like the look of the bath bomb, but to me this just looks like it could be in a normal sort of range for lush um not just christmas but the smell is the only thing really christmassy about this but it does smell interesting um i am excited to use it because who doesn't love a bright yellow bath <laughs> so this one i think this is the only bubble bar i got because i'm more so into bath bombs i'm not gonna lie um but this one was too cute not to pass up they had a bunch of bubble bars to be honest but i just never really use them and they go to waste so this one is a polar bear plunge and this one is 4.95 i'll probably use this a few times but this one is so cute. It smells super minty. Do you guys see? It's a little polar bear. And he's super sparkly. Really cute. I love the design of this. He is adorable. Um, but yeah, this one smells extremely minty. Let's see if the ingredients are on here. So it's got spearmint oil and fine sea salt. To me, it just smells like toothpaste. Very, very minty. Very fresh. I do quite like the minty... Um, Lush smells. I not long ago finished using the intergalactic shower gel that they brought out. I was actually going to rebuy it before I realized that they were like limited edition. Um, but I love the kind of mintier, fresh smells. They are so nice. Um, and yeah, this one's really cute. So I can't wait to use this. I'll probably use this mixed with some of the bath bombs just to make some bubbles because obviously it's all white. So it's not going to do anything interesting in the bath. But it smells good and it was too cute not to get. Okay, so these really excited me. I got, I think I got all of them in the range. I'm talking about the Amaze Balls. Um, so they are pretty much big bath bombs that have another bath bomb as a lid, and then inside it has all like bath bomb, like crushed bath bomb dust, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they look really interesting, really fun. Um, these are £8.50, or well, this one's £8.50. Um, this one is Fly Me to the Moon. I was trying to be so careful when I was lifting these out the bottom of the box because 
I don't know, they seem like they'd be a bit fragile, but this is what it looks like. It's very interesting. It kind of looks like a nipple, um, but these look like they're going to be so pretty in the bath and you could also use them a few times to be honest. So, I mean, I might even do that. I'd probably use the lid and then inside, I don't know if you guys are going to see, it's got all of this loose sort of popping candy. Oh, I've got to be careful. I just went pop in it and it just sprayed everywhere. Um, it's got all this purple like powder inside I don't know if you guys can see so you could even like put this in the bath and then sprinkle all the inside in and maybe use the shell separately you could definitely get a bunch of uses out of these so they are a bit more pricey they're 850 but this one smells really pretty it's oh, I keep saying and it's like spraying everywhere um, and uh, yeah this one smells really feminine really sweet almost a bit like snow fairy so this one has olibanum oil whatever that is um, sweet and wild orange oil and lime oil I smell quite a bit of citrus too it has a very sugary sweet and fruity smell to it so if you like those fresher fruitier smells you'll definitely like this it's a very very feminine sort of scent really love the smell this looks really pretty and I can't wait to try them um, I'll definitely be putting it on my Instagram when I do if you guys don't follow me on Instagram little plug the um, link is below a lot of the times when I use these fun bath bombs I put them in my insta stories to show you guys how pretty they are and what they look like um, so definitely follow me on insta if you want to see kind of as I use these what they're like in the bath so we have another amaze ball now this one is don't let the bells end like the song sorry about my phone going off and this one is eight pounds fifty if i can grab it and this one is very very christmasy it has a very christmasy sort of smell to me it smells very citrusy oh my god my bow yeah it almost smells very citrusy but also has that cinnamony christmas smell to it I actually really like this, especially for this time of year. It has that nice mixture for me. Um, so this one obviously it has little bells at the top, which is like the lid. And then the inside of this looks orange. It looks like it has big chunks of popping candy in there. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm trying not to spill it. Um, so again, could use these in numerous different baths smells amazing and obviously I love the sort of bright orange and yellow for Christmas time um, so this one has almond essential oils um, benzoin resinoid and ylang ylang oil oh so it's saying it has some sort of floral smell in there maybe that's where I'm getting the fruity smell I don't know but it's got this sort of cinnamony and also like fruity smell that's how I describe it anyway I suck at describing things but I think this is definitely sort of a Christmas essential it's very Christmassy looks very festive and um yeah so this is don't let the bells end amazeball I honestly don't know where I'm gonna put all of these once I finish this um I've got a little lush box on my shelf where I keep them in but these are all not gonna fit in there for sure so this next one, this one is the Rudolph bath bomb. This is free, f free, three ninety five, and this one has. I think it smells very similar to the one I just mentioned. It's got some sort of florally and cinnamony smell to it. Definitely smells very festive. Um, this one, I don't know, it's kind of boring. It's very, very small. Um, and I don't really like the whole paper ears. Like, why is there paper ears? Like, I'm not going to ever use that. I don't know. Maybe there's something inside. But to me, like, the paper's just going to go in the bin after the bath. So it just seems a bit pointless to me. I would have rather the ears be, like, made out of the bath bomb too. Um, but um anyways this one has benzoin resinoid ro rose oil and fair trade organic cocoa butter um but yeah it definitely i can definitely smell like floralness in there to me it has a bit of a cinnamony spicy smell to it um yeah not much to say about this one it's a little bit boring in my opinion they could have done a better sort of rudolph bath bomb in my opinion but it still smells good and i still wanted to get it to try it so this is the rudolph bath bomb so now this one excited me. So this is another amaze ball, and this is the Snow Fairy Amaze Ball. So we get kind of two Snow Fairy bath bombs this year. They had a whole bunch of Snow Fairy products in fairness, but these are the only ones I get. Like I said, I'm kind of fed up of the Snow Fairy shower gel, and I had the spray, I've only just run out of it. I was actually gonna get the Snow Fairy spray, but it was sold out. Um, 
but yeah I definitely still wanted to get some classic snow fairy stuff but I didn't want to go too overboard because I feel like I get bored quite easily of the smell um, but obviously classic sugary snow fairy scent there's not much more to say about that but this looks really fun so you've got a little star at the top a uh, beautiful pink shell and then on the inside you've got a bunch of like crystally popping candy if it focuses and all pink beautiful dust on the inside um so i'm super excited to use these again i'll definitely be posting on my instagram once i use this but classic snow very smell it looks so pretty and so girly um yeah i would definitely recommend this it looks so pretty so the next one is Chris the Camel. Um, this one turned out a lot bigger than I was expecting. So Chris the Camel is $4.95. It's quite big. I don't know if you guys can see how big it actually is. Um, but this one is really cute. Obviously, I'm guessing it's to do with, like, did the wise men, like, ride camels? I don't know. I'm guessing that's, like, what it is. Um, but, yeah, he's super cute. This is Chris. He's a camel. And, um... This one has, again, that very classic cinnamony, spicy sort of Christmas smell to it. Um, so this one has clove bud oil in it, black pepper oil, date syrup, and Brazilian orange oil. I do like the smell of this. It's not typically something that I would go for from Lush, but I feel like for Christmas it has that very classic spicy cinnamony Christmas smell to it. So if you are into that, definitely get your hands on this. I do like it for Christmas time because it puts me in a festive mood after having like a nice uh, Christmassy festive bath. Um, but again, he's so big, you could probably split him, in half, split him in half and do two bath bombs or something with him. Um, two bath bombs, two baths with him. But he's got all little gold stars in him as well. He's really cute. So Chris the Camel. I'm definitely excited to use you. <laughs> so the next thing I got, this is the Let It Glow Shimmer Bar. And um, these are kind of like, I think they did two of these. There was one that was lavender scented and this one. Um, these are kind of like the massage bars, which I used to love rubbing on my skin after a bath because they kept your skin really hydrated, really smooth. And obviously the ones with shimmer in them obviously make you sparkly, which I don't mind for this time of year. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's a pretty little pink sort of snowflake um, it's super buttery so it kind of melts with the warmth of your skin and this one oh I think I just got like lipstick on it we're okay I think we're okay um, I can't really smell it I'm not gonna lie it doesn't have a mu much of a scent to it I, I kind of went for this one because the blue one has lavender and I'm really not a fan of lavender but I'm kind of disappointed because this doesn't smell of anything. It says it's supposed to have fair trade organic cocoa butter, which is obviously good for your skin. Um, Persian lime oil. So I was thinking it was going to smell citrusy. Um, fair trade shea butter and cornstarch. I don't smell anything. This smells like nothing. Ah, oh, it like it doesn't have a smell in my opinion. Like. It doesn't maybe it's because I've been smelling all these strong scented bath bombs but it doesn't smell which is kind of disappointing I was expecting it to smell super limey and citrusy um, it's definitely got a lot of sparkle to it I've just like rubbed some of the melted bits on my arm um, I'm still gonna use it because obviously it's got cocoa butter in it it's very hydrating with shea butter um, so it'll be really good for your skin and obviously will make you really sparkly for around Christmas time but scent wise I'm really disappointed with it um this was seven pounds fifty for this so I definitely wouldn't get this again and I definitely wouldn't recommend it just on the fact that it doesn't have a scent to me and for seven pounds fifty I don't feel like I mean it'll probably last you a while but it's quite expensive for like what it is so I'm gonna put this back in its package because it's melting everywhere rub it on my arm um, yeah, maybe the other one smells better, um, but obviously I don't like lavender personally, but yeah, I probably wouldn't get that again and I wouldn't really recommend it just because it doesn't smell like anything. So the next thing I got is a body spray, um, which I was going to get Snow Fairy, um, but then because I couldn't get Snow Fairy, I decided to get a different one. So this one is called Celebrate. I absolutely love these because... They last forever. I think I just, like, I told you, like, you, well, you guys would have seen last year, if you watched my Christmas haul last year, I got the Snow Fairy body spray. That was the first body spray I'd ever got off Lush. And I used to spray it 
every day. I loved it. Um, I'd always spray it before bed because I always like sm going in bed and smelling really nice. I don't know why. Um, but I've literally only just run out of it like probably a month ago. And um, so they last a long time. Um, I think it's just one side. They're like 200 ml bottles. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to smell this. I've just got to figure out how to open it. Oh, okay, I got it. You have to pull it down. It took me fucking forever to get that red thing down. Okay, so let's uh, spray this. Oh, I thought I broke it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I like this. Oh my God, this smells so good. Oh. Let me take it all in, guys. Oh, wow. This smells really citrusy. Oh my God, I love this. So let's see what the ingredients are. Oh, this is 20 pounds as well. So it's not super cheap, but like I said, they last you nearly a year. Um, so this one has cognac oil, Brazilian orange oil and lime oil. Oh, that's why I got it. Oh, wow. <coughs> okay, it's very strong, so you definitely don't need a lot. If you love citrus smells, you will love this. Freaking love anything fruity and citrusy. And this is really strong, really lemony. You can definitely smell the lime and the lemon. I love this. It's actually clearing my nose. Ew. Wow, really love the smell of this. Definitely recommend this if you want to try something different. If you guys love citrusy smells, it almost smells kind of summery, but it's definitely in the Christmas range. Well, it's called like Celebrate, so maybe sort of New Year's based. I don't know. But it smells really, really good. Like, trust me, guys, if you're going to get anything, get this it smells so nice so fresh and this would smell so great as well in the summertime smelling like really citrusy and fresh so i'll definitely be using this all year round this is probably actually my favorite thing that i got it smells so freaking good so the next one i got is snowman dreaming and this one looks really interesting so this one's 3.95 so it's not super expensive um, this one, oh, it smells really nice. Um, it's kind of all white, but he's got like a rainbow inside him. So it looks like it makes your bath really pastel and like rainbowy and pretty. Um, so this one smells really nice. Oh, it's got lavender in it. I don't usually like lavender, but to me, it's got a bit of a snow fairy scent to it. Very fresh. I don't really smell lavender because I hate lavender, but apparently it's got lavender oil and cedarwood oil are the main ingredients. But this one smells really feminine. Again, one of those really fresh smells. Definitely love this. If you love sort of girlier, fresher smells, would highly recommend this one. It's just kind of a little basic one, but I'm excited to use this. I might even use this one tonight, but smells so, so good. So this one is Snowman Dreaming. Okay, we're nearly there, guys. Like two more products. So the next thing I got, I wanted to try like one of their um, moisturizers because I do love Lush moisturizers. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this one, this one was quite expensive. This is the Snowflake Body Lotion. I got the little 100, I think this is a 100 gram pot and it was like 10 pounds. Um, the big one was like 18. Um, so it's definitely a smaller pot, but I feel like a little bit goes a long way with these. Um, I smelled this before and um, it smells like Play-Doh, literally. Like if you guys remember the smell of Play-Doh, this is like literally what Play-Doh smells like. It's taken me back to my childhood. I don't hate it, nor do I love it. I was expecting it to smell nicer than this. Let's see what the ingredients are. So it says it's got almond essential oils, rose water, cedarwood oil, and fair trade almond oil. Yet all I smell is Play-Doh. I don't know why, like, it makes me think of Play-Doh. Like, actual, like, Play-Doh brand, like. I'm not mad at it. The more I smell it, the more I like it. It's a very thick lotion. Sorry to flip you guys off. Um, which I like. Um, I use Dream Cream a lot, especially when healing tattoos. And it's almost very runny. This is very thick. So I feel like a little bit is going to go a long way. Oh, my arm feels really soft now. Um, but I'm like a moisturizing freak. I moisturize every single day. I just love feeling hydrated and lotioned up. Um, it's something I'm like, I take a lot of pride in. Is that the word? Um, I like to feel soft and I like to feel moisturized. Um, so... 
I definitely will be getting a lot of use out of this. Uh, smells like Play-Doh, but I'm not that mad at it. I like it. It smells nice. Definitely glad I got a small pot, though, because I feel like I, like a big pot. Like, the smell's not that amazing. Um, but, yeah. I'm not mad at it. So this is the Snowflake Body Lotion. It feels really softening, like just moisturizing this part of my arm and not this part. It definitely feels very hydrating. So impressed so far. And the last thing is the Fireball Bath Bomb. Where is it? <laughs> it's here. Um, so this one like caught my eye straight away. This is looks like a little flame. I actually love this. It's a very simple, but I think it's a very cute little flame. It's really, really cute. And I feel like this is just going to look really festive in the bath because of all the reds and oranges in it. It looks really fun. And it definitely has one of those like very classic cinnamony Christmas smells that we all love for this time of year. So this one is $4.95 and this one has mustard powder, interesting, um, cinnamon leaf oil, uh, almond essential oils and popping candy. But it smells really good. You can definitely smell the cinnamon in it. Smells amazing. Smells like Santa. This is how I imagine Santa Claus would smell. Um, it just smells really festive. And um, yeah, can't wait to use this little fire. Um, I love it. So yeah, we are done, you guys. I also forgot to mention, I got a whole bunch of soap samples. Every time I do an order, I ask for samples because I love using the little soaps. And they sent me so many. Um, I won't go through them because they're just little samples. But if you do order online, if you ask for samples of certain things, they will send them to you. So that is it, you guys, for my Christmas Lush Haul for 2019. Um, you guys know I had to do this. I do this every single year. I get so excited. It puts me in the mood for Christmas and I've got so many bath bombs now to use up until Christmas um I just love it I always love getting them before Christmas because like I said it just puts me in the mood it makes me excited um so yeah I'm definitely excited to try all these especially the amazeballs they look really fun so yeah thank you guys for watching I will link everything down below as I said that I've talked about today um it will be linked down below for you guys to check out oh one thing I've got to mention is I did I want to get the happy shower gel I don't know why I'm mentioning this um and I thought I ordered it but I didn't so that will be coming separate but I really wanted the happy shower gel so that will be coming because I realized this morning that I didn't actually order that so I just reordered it now <laughs> um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this Lush haul um if you did please give it a thumbs up please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already if you like me and you like my videos please show support by subscribing um there'll be links down below to previous videos all the products that I mentioned and links to my social networking sites as well as my Twitch so if you guys want to see me game on Twitch and come join some of my live streams that will be linked down below also um, but yeah I hope you guys are all feeling festive after watching this let me know if you guys have tried any of these new uh, lush Christmas products let me know your thoughts I definitely think the range this year was really different they brought out so much stuff um, I was definitely really excited to try all of the new things and they did loads of different things this year they didn't really do many repeats so it was really nice seeing a bunch of different stuff from the Lush team and um, everything smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. So yeah, let me know what your guys' favorites are down below if you've tried any of these. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are ready for Christmas and excited like I am. And um, yeah, I will guys see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much and I hope you have a fantastic day.